Casey is one who hasn't shown any emotion at all. She acted absolutely like nothing had happened. She seemed like everything was normal. She went about her business every day. She always seemed like she had a smile on her face. And she hasn't shown any emotion at the disappearance of her daughter. The police chair is not very comfortable. Get no, the way I'm, back. Exactly. I'm not comfortable alone. I feel like I'm anyway. <laughs> Casey is going through a nightmare and has been living a nightmare for the last several months. She had been crying. Now, it's not falling, mind you. My mother immediately goes, who took her? Who took her? And, and, and then Casey goes, um, the nanny did. She was kidnapped, Mom. And at that point, my sister's done crying. Despite the charges filed against Miss Anthony today, I want to remind everyone that we have not achieved our primary objective in this investigation. We have not recovered little Kaylee Anthony. We, for the sake of Kaylee's grandparents, her loved ones, and those on every level who have worked in this case, will, con will continue to do everything we possibly can to recover little Kaylee. Speaking directly as a father, a day doesn't pass where I wish the evidence we have gathered in this case didn't add up to the painfully obvious. Sadly, I cannot change the facts surrounding this investigation. A Florida grand jury hands down a murder one charge today against top mom Casey Anthony. Also included other counts. They include a manslaughter charge regarding child abuse. Also lying to cops. We are taking your calls live to Deneen in Ohio. Hi, Deneen. Hi, Nancy. What's your question, dear? Um, I was wondering about the strand of hair that was found in the trunk of the car. Yes. Um, what's once they found out that, uh, or find a match uh, to Cal um, for DNA with the strand of hair, is there a test that can determine definitely that the dark band was caused due to death? Yes, there are tests to determine that, but I, the problem is going to be, and we'll go to Lawrence Koblinski on that, uh, famed forensic scientist. Kobe, if there is not a nucleus on the hair, in other words, a root, Right. Will they be able to get DNA or just mitochondrial DNA? That's correct. You're right on target, Nancy. Without a root, the best they can do is mitochondrial DNA. That genetic profile is not unique to anybody. Really? Not because they've been using it overseas yes. uh, with the Red Cross to identify bodies. The U.S. government yes. has used mitochondrial DNA for decades. Yes. So now you're telling me that the U.S. government's use of mitochondrial DNA is is in question? Oh, not at all. It's just that it is not really? a unique... Really? Because that's what it, it sounded no, like no. you were saying. Let me make it clear. It is not Please. a unique profile to an individual. There are other people who have the same mitochondrial Kobe, genetic profile. Kobe, isn't it true that it's either going to be the mother or the individual? Or any maternally related relative. Even okay. Lee has the same profile. So, since the only other maternal relative is going to that could remotely be near that car trunk mm -hmm. would be Cindy, mm -hmm. Casey, right, or Kelly, or and Lee. we know or Lee. Lee is also has okay. the same type. Or Lee, right, and I'll there give are you other... that one. I'd like to finish. Sorry, that are even remotely associated with Casey Anthony's car. We know there is a dark band on it, indicating the person is dead. Let's see. Casey Anthony alive, Cindy Anthony alive, Lee Anthony alive. That only leaves Kelly, doesn't it, Kobe? It's very significant evidence. Number one, we have to prove whose hair it is, and number two, that it is hair that has that banding pattern as a result of decomposition. Yes, you're, you're right on target with that, Nancy. Well, you're certainly earning your money. <laughs> Dr. Lawrence Kobolinski is a, a famed forensic scientist out of John Jay College, and he is on board the Casey Anthony defense team. I want to go back to the lawyers, Ray Judice and Doug Burns, but first, I want to find out to Mark Williams, where is Casey Anthony tonight? Casey Anthony is back in her old cell block where she was before she separated from other prisoners at the Orange County Jail. Of course, she was booked in there probably within the past hour or so, and uh, that's where she, she'll be spending the night until tomorrow's first appearance. Natisha, you, Natisha Lance is with us. Our producer is joining us there at the jail. Explain to me the procedure she went through after she was pulled over on the side of the road and arrested today. After she was pulled over, Nancy, she was taken to the Orange County Sheriff's Office. 
After that, she was brought to the jail where we are right now. Um, she went into the Sally Port when she arrived here at the jail. There were a few protesters here as well as as well as some supporters. And tonight, she is behind bars, just as Mark Williams said. Does she have a cellmate? Is she in isolation? What wing is she on? At this point, it seems as if she will be in protective custody once again, as she was last time. Um, so she will be isolated from any other inmates. And we're awaiting her uh, booking photo to come out, if it hasn't already come out. And we will see her at her initial appearance tomorrow morning. With me, everyone, exclusively joining us tonight, the attorney for George and Cindy Anthony, Mr. Mark Nijame. He is a veteran trial lawyer, and he is defending them in any capacity needed. Mr. Nijame, do you believe that the family, George and Cindy Anthony, prepared themselves mentally, emotionally for this day, or was it easier for them to believe this day was not going to happen? I think they're as well prepared as any parents could be um, that their daughter may be indicted for first-degree murder. Um, it's, it's, it's something that none of us are prepared fully in life. There's no rule book or playbook on this. Um, they knew that it was a probability. Um, we must remember that an indictment is only a charge. A lot of people are talking like there's already a conviction. That's true. There is, there is a charge, and it, 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 it simply means that there's been probable cause. And now the, the state attorney's office has to take this from start to finish. Well, Mr. Nijame, I, I know that many people believe uh, I and others have been hard on top mom Casey Anthony, but our our sympathies are with the family. I want to go quickly to Richard Grund, the father of Jesse Grund, the former fiance of Top Mom. What is your family's response to the indictment tonight, sir? It's um, it's tough because we loved Casey. We still do. We love Kaylee. Um, you know, I'm just hoping that the seriousness of this will get the community to calm down and, and everybody to realize that we're real people. George and Cindy and Lee, they're real people. We're all real people, and we hurt right now. Back to Nikki Pierce with WDBO. Nikki, there is talk that Baez may actually have to step down from taking the case to trial. There's some talk about that because, um, as I understand it, you have to have five years as, um, as an attorney, at least, to be able to um, defend this kind of a case. We also hear that Casey Anthony may actually defend herself this from uh, Jose Bias's um, PR firm saying that she would have access to state funds to get her some investigators if she did so. You know, uh, to Raymond Judice, Doug Burns, I do not believe that any court in this country would allow a death penalty, Raymond, Raymond to go forward pro se with counsel defending themselves. That's right, Nancy. They don't want to not try the case twice. No. Yeah. Appeal, reverse, right, right back. back down. And, and uh, you're dead on. And Doug Burns, as far as having to have uh, a certain degree of experience at trial for a death penalty case, you're darn right. Right. That's to be lead counsel, Nancy. So what everybody's saying is, is that he'll have to step aside as lead counsel, but he can continue. Yeah, to work he could be case. second chair. Right. But exactly. you, to do a capital case, good lord, you've got to have oh, uh, many, many trials yes. under your belt, and not just as a gopher. You've got to be lead counsel on those cases in order to go forward. Everyone, recap. Um, Casey Anthony just indicted by a Florida grand jury charges murder one plus other counts. Tomorrow morning, 8.30 a.m., she is back in court. We will bring you the very latest. But I want to stop and remember, Marine Lance Corporal Jordan Hutter, just 19, Sag Harbor, New York, killed Iraq, lost his life at a checkpoint saving fellow troops and Iraqi officers, awarded the Purple Heart Combat Action Ribbon, Iraqi Campaign Medal, loved solo flights, paintball, driving his Dodge pickup on the beach. Favorite movie? Black Hawk Down, dreamed of being a cop. Please behind parents Christian and Joanne, girlfriend Nicole, Jordan Hutter, American hero. Thanks to our guests, but especially to you for being with us. I'll see you tomorrow night, 8 o'clock sharp Eastern, and until then, good night, friend.